We are in right now. That's right, gamers. It's time for the Ready Check Cup. Raiding is back. This is actually the biggest live raiding event in Guild Wars 2 history at this stage in the game. 28 teams signed up for the Ready Check Cup. As a bonus, we're coming together for Cure Rare Disease as well. We're already at $205 raised. Wow. Hey, I think this is going to be a really cool competition. What we've got here is sort of a tier three and tier two tournament. The largest raiding tournament ever in the history of Guild Wars 2. Let, let's do it. I'm excited yeah. to see what people have got for us. Yeah, so in an effort to try to make raiding tournaments more accessible, we wanted to make it on one day because in the past we'd had, you know, qualifiers and it would sometimes it'd be over several weekends. So we thought, okay, how do we condense this, get as many people in there as possible and just have people blast and go. And the way that we set it up was for a one day event where everyone at the beginning all races against each other all at the same time. So you're going to see all 26, 27 teams racing all at once oh, through yeah. wing one. Oh yeah. All at once, all at the same time. And then the top eight move on. Snab. Yeah, I'm ready. 30 seconds to go. Oh, three, two, one. Go! It all begins. All right, here we go. I'm just going to leave it on these streams. I have, by the way, I am not. I have no idea how well people are going to do, Sneb. We're just going to go completely wild here. We're going to flick through a bunch yeah. of streams, but this is going to be madness. Let's do it. They're going for mid -strike. Honestly, you've got to yeah. respect that. That This is, this seriously, And it, when I was doing mm. speed runs, one of the most common bosses that would kill our runs, right, where we were going for full clear speed runs, Veil Guardian. Seriously, I know people think, oh yeah, joke boss, haha, -ha, easy boss. This strat is no joke. <laughs> Middle strat is not to be underestimated. Yeah. <laughs> it is very difficult to pull off. If you make any mistake, there can be a huge domino effect, especially with one healer. No, Snap! A green oh. eviscerates fun! Oh. Oh, can they no. recover? That green circle, of course, um, you, this, you're supposed to stand in that green circle to avoid this massive explosion of damage, but of course, you can choose to overheal it. But oh, fun tried to recover, oh, but they go downstairs again. Can they get back oh, up? they're gonna take 80% of damage. Uh, however, at least we had fun. Did manage to rally. They've almost actually maintained their ground here with Rise. Rise are about to finish off the Veil Guardian. They're just 7% boss HP left over. 3, 2, 1. I think that is going to be it. Probably one of the faster guilds. I might actually go ahead and pan over to some other streams to see uh, exactly who else is kind of getting through this stuff. And we'll see exactly yeah. what's going on here. You know what's really alarming about this? These teams are really close together right They're now. So close. Uh, are you seeing oh, this? It's gonna be such a race. I, I'm looking yeah. at. I, I'm just scrolling through all of these teams, and they are right on it. This is going to absolutely be a photo finish. Holy, yeah. Oh, I've got. Oh man, now multiple other teams have finished the standing in a circle simulator. Yeah, and they're yeah. Hiding behind the pillar. <laughs> oh, they're so close. This is getting crazy, guys. This is getting absolutely unhinged. I think, Snab. This is out of control at this point. I don't want to say it. This is disgusting. This is within one second between these two rosters. Oh my gosh! This it's is it's be within so close. it's within <laughs> one second between Int um, and Grant's team here. This is pretty insane. This is a pretty clean Sabbatha Bandit pre-event, I think, here for Why Am I Dead. I actually think they may well get to Sabbatha before Inter's K unit. You know, just as we were talking about that precision on these little intermission phases, I actually thought there might be a slight advantage towards NA here. Ooh, I think Inter's, they finished the event first, but I think there's a portal. Look at that. Do you see that portal, Seb, from Gra on Grand oh Stream? My. That's massive. <laughs> They're in. Oh. oh, that's clean. That is that so clean. Is big. That's huge. Oh, I, I look, I'm just gonna watch. I just now. gotta watch this stream. This is an absolutely massive play here. They're about that to pump. a huge advantage. The portal is massive. Holy! Yeah. They're like ten seconds ahead now. Easily. That's huge. The two oh, teams yeah. are within ten percent hit points right now of a mini boss. Right, they're within five seconds. <laughs> and look at the aggression here. They're actually skipping. You're supposed to go up and kill cannons that spawn all of those orange circles. They're skipping almost all of them. Oh, hang on though. A bit of instability there from Indus K. You know, they get the revival pretty effectively. Flamethrower now coming through there on the Ooh. side um, of NA. NA holding on quite nicely within 2% HP right now. Are the Blade Swans going to pull ahead for Indus K unit? But the, I, 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 I don't think I can call this though. Can you call it? 
I don't think I can. I'm watching, oh man, so many teams right now are uh, at Sabatha. It's it's going to be an absolute race, an absolute race. Team watch from the Stain That's it. gang Ingers here. That's it, Ingers care unit. They just started. 1637, oh, no, they're number one. <laughs> That's so What fast. a beast, what a beast mode of a time there. And 16, I think it's going to be 1650 comes through there from Why Am I Dead? Just 13 seconds between those Wait. two rosters. <clears throat> So, what's your prediction here? What do you see, I, see with your eagle eyes, Snub? I think this is going to go right down to the wire. And it is going to be, um, at least we had fun a little bit ahead in terms of the boss spawn here, I believe. About the same, of course, but a slight edge for at least we may have had fun, which is actually exactly how it was. I believe they were around two seconds ahead-ish overall. Oh, and wow, are you seeing this burst, Snub, from fun? This is insane. Unreal. Look at that burst. Holy. Oh, that is <laughs> oh. massive. Huge burst. Whoever can complete this transition the best will have a major lead. And then it's down to the DPS second portal. race at the end. Second portal from Flux. That could be big. Is there? There is not a second portal from at least we had fun. So that's worth noting here. Really? So I wow. think we might see a time save here from Flux. There's a few more bandits for both teams to be cleaned up now. The gate's about to open. We can see the final. Like gonna port another port. Yeah, to the boss. Second, yeah, to the boss as well. Fun, very close to completion too. Final bandits. Ooh, Flux. Not quite able to get it done. And I think both teams have it now. Who's going to make it first? Here we go. Bo oh, you can't be serious. Seb, are you seeing this? What happened? They're both in within oh. seconds. Flux oh, are oh, ahead though. Flux caught back up. They are ahead. They did get back in first. It comes down to DPS here. within two seconds of each other right now. Yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is scripted. This is this two is scripted. and seven? Or which teams are... Or is this... Uh, uh, this is five four. and four seed, I believe. Okay, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is exactly... You know, this... It, it is... Yeah, the seeding is working, right? They are very, very close. Yes, they're indeed. very, very close. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. No, Snub. Oh, no. A fumble reflect. So here's... The, the, to, oh, in order, I know what yeah, happened. Yeah. They oh. blocked it. Unfortunately, what's so, happened so, here? Yeah, it, uh, just to explain this mechanic real quick, this boss puts up a shield that makes it invulnerable, and you have to reflect projectiles back at it, otherwise the boss will stay invulnerable. And Flux, unfortunately, did not manage to succeed that mechanic, and that loses them probably 15 seconds. Potentially, that could have ended them. And Flux, as a result of that, they've fallen a very long way behind now versus um, at least we had fun, uh, who are now below 40%. And a bit of instability as well. So they have two downstates for Flux. Uh, they need to recover. They've got to hold on. And, well, at this point, their opponents are looking fantastic right now. And unless they have some mm. kind of instability themselves, but it's not looking likely, to be honest. They've had an insanely yeah. clean run here, in fact. That 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 one misreflection had such an impact. Mm, one mistake. One mistake may have cost us. That's how... And that, look, I just want to put this in perspective. That's not... That's one ability usage. One skill between these teams. Yep. Not like a minute. Not even, you know, 10 seconds. One skill has made the difference here. Nah, and I do think over. that's going to be it. It's, it's over. over. State of Flux have been eliminated. At least we may have had fun. They're going on to face Inter's care unit in Wing 3. Wing 3 is so interesting. So interesting. Yeah. There could be some very risky strategies that go on here. I, I, I don't want to spoil it too much. I think it's just going to be wild. <laughs> the, the, the first encounter will make or break a lot of teams here. I can say without exaggeration that I think Wing 3 might be one of the hardest uh, raid wings to speedrun um, out of all of them. Look at Inter's K unit. So they've already done two. They wow, are absolutely going is, insane. This, They're going this unhinged. Is clean. Very this is ridiculous. Clean. Here it comes again. They, of course, have another pull set up here by the Mesmer and maybe into a great sword knock as well. Let's see. There it is. There's the cap. Now they have the tower. They're about to get the fourth tower. This is ridiculous. They get it. They lock it in. Oh, yeah. And now here we go. There's going to be another pull available. Another knock. There it is. It's captured. Fourth tower now captured. Here we go. Final portal is going to get set up here. Here it is. 
Oh, a continuum split portal. Fun fact, you can actually place a portal entirely within continuum split if you really want to, but they just use it as basically a teleport here, basically, to reset their position. And look, now they place a portal at there, and then boom, they open it directly into the tower. Instead of having to glide back, they invert it. They go the other end, and there's wow, the cap onto... That is they're impressive. on the three that is minutes unbelievable. from I've Inter's never care seen that unit. Continuum split portal. That, that is really cool. Yeah. Jeez. That is clean. That was that, that absolutely disgusting. And they're already on boss. Fun negotiating their way around. They're also doing a good job here. They're still pretty fast. Glenna has made it. Again, they're actually going to do a little bit better than their first try. It looks like it's going to be around a 340 uh, maybe. Uh, maybe even a 330. Yeah, here it comes. Here we go. In comes Glenna. There it is. Yeah, it's still going to be sub four. A little bit better than their first run. They're warmed up. But Inter's care unit, this is uh, this is on another level. The boss here is not really even a boss. It's kind of a little trash thing just to finish off the encounter. But it's actually nearly dead already. Like, uh, McLeod is, he's done. He's done for. And Inter's care unit, I got to go to keep concert very, very soon. This is massive. I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still waking up from the fact that they did the... The, oh, the continuum split portal that is incredible i never would have a thought of that and b been able to execute it okay, and that's it that's, keep uh... concert down under 10 minutes in here's a fun one let's see what they're gonna do here so this is oh, a twisted, twisted, twisted castle. castle it's a bit of a jumping puzzle this might actually look genuinely bizarre because these teams are going to be doing a lot of efficient puzzle strategies here oh here we go oh yeah we are gonna see some skip snap here we go and i believe it's a mirage oh, boy, where are they going? here <laughs> Here comes the Mirage. This is the Ultra Skip, dude. Are you ready to see the Ultra I've Skip? I've never seen this before. What's You've not happen? seen the Omega oh Skip? Oh my. Okay, you better be ready for the Omega. <laughs> prepare for the Omega. Mesmer is here waiting. Just preparing here. We can't see all of the other magic and mystery that's going on right now. But of course, that portal has been set up. Now it gets activated. Here they come. Here we go. That statue, of course, being locked in by the Mesmer. So, uh, making sure that all the players can make it through. And here we go. Here we go. What is happening? Well, basically, they're using portals to um, completely destroy the wonderful puzzle design of Arena. And here comes the leap. Here it is. This is the key. It's a bit tricky, but you can land that Mirage leap and then chain it into another one to get to the end. How do you like that? <laughs> so precise. Holy... Yo, oh, if oh you... one player got feared off. It's a good thing they have a backup here. That is really funny, uh, but oh. they are going to have that backup. <laughs> Fun of now finish off KC. Uh, let's see. Is, need a few more buttons here to actually finish this up here for the Inter's care unit. Have they messed up? It should actually be finished by now, I think. Ooh, I think something has uh -oh. gone wrong. Uh-oh. Yeah, something uh -oh. happened. Oh. Oh dear! Oh, no, nope, no, nope, they got it. 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 It was a bit. Uh, there was a bit of a kerfuffle there, but they did Whoa. make it in the end. Whoa. Look, boss is dead, snub. It's over. Wow. It's over. Sixteen forty-five. I mean, there's nothing else that can be said there. That was pristine, um, to be honest. From Inter's cat. That's actually. Yeah. Very that's a uh, legitimately amazing time, right? Like you know, I don't care what tournament that's in. That's pretty epic. Thank you, gamers, so much for that. That is pretty insane. Um, this was the biggest raid event out there. EU and NA coming together, joining together as one to celebrate this content. And it really was incredible. It was absolutely was so fantastic. Good. It really, really was. Um, what an epic event. What a great start. I think it would be a really good time to actually talk about some of our future plans. Do you want to um, do you want to kind of give a bit of a summary of our thought process, Neb, going into this yeah. tournament? Kind of our evaluation of it and what that kind of means for mm. the future? Yeah, so here's, here's originally the idea was to help create a bridge or a ramp up for players to get into being a little bit more competitive. Not necessarily having to do something that was over like 10 different weekends or something, but just... Get in there, compete, have some fun, compete with yourself, just show what you've got and celebrate that you've been playing with your static or whatever for a long time. However, we ended up you know, widening the net a little bit for this tournament, specifically because it was for charity. And so we had sort of a, you know, a lower end, a middle end, both combined. We weren't sure how many people we would get. I, frankly, I was worried about getting 12, which is the minimum we needed to run the tournament. But then, I saw 14 in like two days, and then I saw 20, and then I went to 25, and then yesterday, right at the deadline, it was 28. 
So we we are just completely floored with the uh, reception to this. Moving forward, we plan to do three different tournaments. We'll have tier one, which is the invitational, the best of the best, if you will. We'll have tier two, which are the people vying for a coveted spot in that tier one. You know, if you win, you'd move up kind of thing. And then tier three are, you know, maybe the people that are a little bit newer to raids or, you know, they've, they just kind of threw a team together and they just started practicing. They just want to go out and try to be a little bit competitive with themselves. And uh, yeah, in the future, we're going to have three different tournaments. That's the plan for 2023. So our next tournament, can I say it, Teapot? You can. Our next tournament will be in March.